Hi, I'm Turin from Loxon, and in this video, we're going to have a look at the steps within Loxon Config for swapping out the Mini Server Gen 1 for the new Mini Server. First of all, I want to emphasize that the Loxon Mini Server Generation 1 will remain 100% functional and continue to be supplied with updates. Now, if you do want to swap your customer's Mini Server Generation 1 for the new Mini Server, it's important that you know not to start with replacing the actual hardware. In fact, the process starts in Loxon Config. So let's take a look at what the steps will be. First, we need to connect to the Mini Server. and we select in the periphery tree. Now, clicking on the button in the top ribbon menu will actually open a pop-up that's gonna guide us through the necessary steps. In the first window, we can decide which mini server we want to replace the existing one with. Now, I want to replace the mini server gen one with the new mini server, and here we've named it mini server generation two, just so it's clear. It's important to note that the new mini server has no analog outputs. So if analog outputs of the mini server being swapped out are in use, they'll be transferred in config to an AO extension. In this window, you can decide whether a new data backup should be created or whether an existing one should be used. I'm gonna be creating a new backup and I click next. Now that that's done, it's time to physically swap over the mini servers and if need be, add an AO extension to the installation. Seeing as the mini server is being exchanged, naturally logic can't be processed during this time. So we recommend if need be, turn on the lights before the physical swap over. Now that we've physically swapped over the mini servers, we can click next in this walkthrough pop-up. The new mini server will be assigned the same IP address as its predecessor. So I can click next and it'll start searching or I can just enter the IP address manually and I click next. Now we have the option to restore the backup that was done earlier. If I want to transfer data that is older than 12 months, we have the option on the right, but I'll just use the statistics and log files that we already have in the backup and click next. Now I need to enter the mini server credentials and of course I need to have Loxon config rights associated with these credentials and we click OK. Now the program backup has taken place and has transferred to the new mini server, so that's all successful. We can now click Next. That's pretty much all we need to do in Loxon Config. Just one last thing in our partner account that we need to do is transfer the online services and registering the new mini server. So we can click here on Loxon Account and it would be best if you already make sure that you're logged in via your browser to your Loxon account. We're greeted with this pop-up to help us complete the transfer of the mini server in our account. So you can assign here a project name so that you can uniquely identify the mini server. I'm gonna go with create automation and click continue. Now we can select the online services that we want to transfer. So in this example, I want to transfer both the caller service and the weather service and click continue. In this last step, I can decide if registration of the existing mini server should be canceled or kept within my account. So for the purpose of this, I'll delete the registration. And that's it. The transfer has been successful along with the online services. I can click complete. And if I scroll down in the My Products page, I can now see that the new mini server is registered under my account. So to complete the process, I've jumped back to Loxon Config and I can click next. And that's it. The transfer is now complete. Thanks for watching.